look good. He's a difficult man to deal with, but no one knows more about Chocobos. Something? I want to know more about the Angel of Valhalla. Go away. I heard you know things. The encounter is ordained. You have been led to the fountainhead whence the chaos flows. Does that mean anything to you? Great Etro's helm. Where did you hear those words? Who spoke them? A young girl. But I never saw her. A maiden's voice, born on the wind. Yes. Yes, that's how I heard them, too. So it would appear that she has spoken to both of us. Very well. I will share what I know. The angel is a tempestuous chocobo that lives in these plains. I myself have glimpsed the creature many times, but unfortunately I've never succeeded in capturing him. It is said whoever can break him and ride him will become his master. But I've long since given up hope that it shall be me. Nor me. I don't know anything about chocobos. Don't rule yourself out, young lady. You may be the one, 
If you're telling the truth about the voice, that is. It's true, not everyone who hears the voice is the chosen one. But rest assured, the encounter will happen. The legends tell us that the Chocobo's chosen master will be led by the Chocobo to a certain place. I speak of that dread edifice whence the chaos emerges, the Temple of Etro herself. You mean the one built into the cliff? The very same. And deep below that sinister haven of destruction, an ocean of chaos loyals, the great chaos of the stories. Hmm, what does that mean? Is it a different kind of chaos? Alas, the legends give us few details. If you wish to find an answer to that question, you will have to seek the truth in the temple. And to do that, I've got to find and tame the Angel of Valhalla. Yes, indeed. But that, let me assure you, is no easy task. I have a couple of assistants who live here in the village. Talk to them, and they can give you advice about finding the Chocobo. An ocean of great chaos buried beneath a temple. Do you think it could be true? Does the Order know anything about it? No. I'd say it's likely they don't. That temple appeared here from the other world, from Valhalla itself. A great city was once built here. For a while, it was the center of all human culture. It appears the ruins here are all that remain of that time. So was that our golden age? Well, judging by the state of them, it ended a long time ago. The chaos that's destroying the world emerged right here in the wildlands. The initial flood of chaos devastated this entire area. So this is where it began. chaos beneath the temple of the goddess what do you think i hope that i'm wrong about this but i'd say that the force behind the world's destruction might be buried somewhere in that good a challenge
The unseen chaos. I came into contact with it just once. I still remember the feeling. It's not something that belonged in this world. It had to be stopped and just... Hope they find peace. I wasn't strong enough to stop it. Chaos came anyway, and it destroyed the world. It came from the darkness. It got.
Why didn't he just run away? He's torn up pretty bad. Perhaps he had to fight to protect something. It's all right, little one. I'll help you. You're bleeding heavily. We have to stop it. It's the white chocobo. What happened here? He needs medical attention, and fast. Right. I'll get the doctor. Yeah! Yep! Yeah. than I feared. Hey, help me get him to Canopus Farms, now! Yes, Doctor! I won't Doctor. let him die. Of that you have the word of Dr. Gizal. Stop okay, moving around! Quickly! Hey, Hope. Do you really think that was a chocobo? Why do you ask? It might be a subspecies, but it certainly looked like a chocobo to me. Right, to me too. But the thing is, when I first saw it, I felt familiar with the area. You felt familiar with a chocobo? Maybe you just need a friend, Light. Hey, I know what I felt. I'll follow the dock back to Canopus Farms. I'm sorry. Dr. Gazal's in surgery right now and can't be disturbed. You'll have to wait Give here. Me some fresh water. Yeah. Okay, good. Good. As I stood there, yeah, watching wait, the doctor wait. try to save the Chocobo's life, I knew this was no ordinary animal. Because of the legend, I felt a connection, as if we'd fought together. There. There, that's it. But why? It made no sense. Come see for yourself. Light, what about the Chocobo? Do you want to leave without seeing how... Is he all right? His wounds are cleaned and dressed, but he's still dying. Can't you help? Listen to me. He's half-starved. If he is to recover, he needs nutrients, vitamins, protein. But no matter what we do, we can't make him eat. Is he that weak? It's not a question of being weak. He's too proud. That's the problem. We've tried everything to coax him, but he simply won't accept any food from humans. And the fool beast just glares at us. That pride will kill him. Such a stubborn bird can be none other than the Angel of Valhalla. The only human the Angel will bow to is the one he recognizes as Master. Perhaps he will obey you. Try it. 
Offer him this. What? It might be the chocobos. Is this all right? Well, it looks like he recognizes you as his master. As long as we keep providing him with feed, he should recover. I say we, but of course I mean you. He will not accept help from anyone else. He has to be your responsibility and yours alone. If I do it, will he recover? I would bet my reputation on it. This is the bird of legend. You're destined to ride him to the fountainhead of the chaos. But before you can do that, the bird needs to be fed. So you said. Any hints? What kind of food should I give him? I prescribe a balanced diet of Gizal greens, quality sheep's milk, and nutritional supplements. Ask the villagers if they have any greens or milk to spare. Thanks to the doctor, the chocobo is out of immediate danger. But... Hey, hey! Don't step on the vegetables! Sorry, I didn't mean to... It's all right. No harm done. I was only warning you. I've just planted a whole crop of gazal seedlings. Right. Chocobo's favorite food. Yep. And our bread and butter. My name is Sarala, by the way. This is our field. My father's in mine. We've always worked it together. Nice to meet you and everything. You should feed that white chocobo of yours with some gazal greens. Normally we have a full crop, but with Father away I have no fertilizer to grow more. That's the last one, but you can have it. So now I have to play nurse to a giant bird. I'm telling you, it better be worth the trouble. He'll become your steed. And not only that, if the legends are true, he'll be able to guide you to the temple of the goddess and the source of the great chaos. We'll see. He'd better be useful. I was never one for keeping pets. Somehow, that doesn't surprise me. So, what are you going to do next? I met the white Dr. Gazal and his assistant are going without food and rest, trying to keep that... Welcome, traveler. We offer good old-fashioned country hospitality. My friend, we meet again. They tell me that the white chocobo is out of danger. Yes, he's safe for now. Thanks to you. He brought the doctor just in time. Lucky for us both. I'm glad we could save that magnificent animal. Now here, I give you this gift. Hey, how's that bird doing? Of course, I speak of the white chocobo that you're caring for. Perhaps you would like to feed him some of this fortifying milk. The truth is, one of my regulars wanted it, but I just can't stand by seeing that poor creature suffer. You take it. Visit any time.
anything catches your eye, pick it up and give it a try. I do what shall I do having some trouble trouble no, I'd say some of my flock has fled they've never done this before what set them off and of all the times for it to happen a disaster I say uh, let me get this straight it's my fault your sheep ran off and so it's my job to bring them back well I realize you meant no harm of course but yes if you're volunteering please bring my sheep back like three in total and you'll know them when you see them they were raised on my own patented formula and grow much larger than normal sheep it will be a simple matter to give them a scare and drive them back home where they belong do this for me and I will be most grateful and I will offer you a special reward as thanks I'll look forward to it you should because it will be in the form of my world-famous fuzzy sheep milk it's no ordinary milk, let me tell you. Packed with nutrients, creamy and delightful it is. And with three sheep, there'll be a lot of it. the last of them on behalf of my sheep I thank you as promised I present you with my sheep milk the likes of which you won't find anywhere else just have to milk them hang on there you go go on take it it's all for you I tell you if you hadn't found them it would have been years of research down the drain okay so you're a scientist then not just a sheep farmer Yes, exactly. Sheep's milk. That's my specialty. I carefully selected wild specimens and bred them for generations. I fed them a special formula I've refined over the decades, caring for them night and day. At long last, I had the fine creamy milk I sought. And now I have the inestimable honor presenting the fruit of my labor to you, the one chosen by the Angel of Valhalla. Chosen by the Angel, huh? So, what makes you think that's me? Oh, I can put two and two together easily enough. The reports of a white chocobo, the growing tide of chaos and monsters. All are clear signs that the end of the world is upon us. 
Not only that, amidst all the portents, I hear rumors of a young woman warrior with rose-colored hair, a description that matches that of the white chocobo's master in some of the tales. And just as I was pondering that, you show up. Why, it had to be destiny. It could be a lot of things, but you believe what you want. Oh, I will. I have long known that the milk I made here would change the fate of the world. You are the one chosen by the angel. You changed the world with every encounter, with every decision. Our meeting here was no accident. Hey, Light. Why don't you try feeding some of that to the chocobo? Ah, mademoiselle. Might I have a word? I consider myself an expert in the culinary arts. That's cooking food to you. <laughs> but I have not been able to practice my true skill these many years. My master taught me his greatest recipes, but together we only made them but one time. Now the world stands on the edge of destruction, and I fear I will never make them again. I'd like to help, but about the only dish I can cook is behemoth steak on a campfire. What I need is much simpler than that. I require only a few small but vital ingredients. Which you can't find. Exactement. Especially in this day and age. All right. If I find any, I'll bring them to you. Mademoiselle, merci beaucoup. With those ingredients, I'll once again be able to craft the masterpieces of my forebears. Should eat. <laughs> A bunch of fuss buckets, aren't they? The villagers, I mean. Everyone's been very kind and helpful. Well, you have to be out here in the wildlands. No one who tries going it alone survives very long. Just remember, if someone scratches your back, they'll expect some back scratching in return. Drink this. It's a unique specimen, without a doubt. 
But it needs to eat what other chocobos eat. Even a legend can't live on air and admiration. Did you try offering him food again? Is he still refusing you? Yes, we've tried. But he kicks up a fuss loud enough to scare the sheep in Arius. It's you or nobody. I guess I'm stuck with him. Easy now. Things have finally settled down. Have you had a chance to talk to everyone here at Canopus Farms? People here, they understand the importance of helping each other out. It's the only way to survive. As long as that chocobo keeps eating, he's bound to recover sooner or later. The problem is, he'll only accept food from your hand. He doesn't need any more surgery. And he won't accept food from me. So it looks like I've done all that I can for him. If you need any help or advice, talk to 13. Such a resilient animal. Will he be all right? Hmm. Let's have a look. <coughs> yes, he's doing much better. Healthy enough to be ridden, I'd say. He's on the way to a complete recovery, but you'll need to keep an eye on him for a while. Uh -huh. ah, I must say, he truly is a splendid specimen. I've spent a hundred years caring for chocobos, and I feel as if it were all preparing me for this moment. Thank you. Now that you've nursed the chocobo back to health, why not take him for a ride? You can explore the wildlands together. 